let me highlight a polarity that I think you're bringing in. On the one hand, we want to get very, very precise and persnickety about language because words matter. Like on the one hand, there is something about like really choosing the exact precise word that's going to like capture the thing we're trying to get at. There's there's something very beautiful about the precision of language. The other side of the polarity is the spirit from which that's coming. And if we only have, I care and I love and I, you know, I just am coming from a good place, but I'm never going to examine my language. I'm never going to get clear about how I'm embodying it. Then I'm going to get the downside of that. And the same thing that is going to happen with language. If I get overly focused on the right language, the correct word, the structure, the right, you know, like if I get there, I just become rigid and controlling and uptight and brittle. So you need these two things working together in an infinity loop. The spirit of it matters very, very deeply. And get your heart in the right place and then map on as skillful as the language as you can. You know, like get the most skillful language you can, but don't lose the heart. Because the most skillful language with no heart is just manipulation. If we don't have our heart in it, it's just manipulation. So if we really want to be co-creative, we've got to have all of our heart online with as skillful as we can be. Because if we don't have the skill and we only have the heart, we have a lot of miscommunication and enabling happening. I hope that's helpful. That's one of the modules in Human 101, by the way. Um, we get into all of those quadrants of how to know which of the, what kind of communication we're actually engaging in.